Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna play with the You've Been On My Mind uh, stamp and die set from Crafters Companion. And um, in for their instructions, it says start with a 12 um, by 6 piece of paper, score it at 4 and 8. But I'm gonna make a card in case someone doesn't have a, like a white card stock that that'll make a good good card base in 12 by 12. Um, to make it with an 11 by eight and a half, <coughs> excuse me, piece of card. All right, so we're going to start with our card and we're going to end up cutting it to 10 and a half by six. So you're going to take your card stock and I'll do it for you. So you're going to start with a regular piece of card. And you're going to cut it at six inches, six and a half inches, I'm sorry. Put that there. By ten and a half. And just try to be as precise as you can. Alright, just about there. I'm just taking off half an inch on that side. So then you have your um, ten and a half by six and a half piece of card. Now we're going to take our scoreboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to score it at three and a half. You can score it again at seven, but I'm just going to turn it and score it at three and a half again. Okay. So get rid of that. And then we're really going to crease our lines. Make sure that everything is nice and crisp. Fold this over, make sure everything lines up nicely. So then you have that. Okay. So now you have a three and a half by six and a half um, card base. That's a trifold. Okay, so um, I'm going to get my dies together and I'll be right back. Okay, so while I was gone, I cut another piece of card at um, three and seven sixteenths or just like cut it at three and a half by six and a half and just take like an eighth of an inch on each side. Easiest way to go, but if you want precise, then it's um, three and seven sixteenths by... Um, six and seven sixteenths so that's what i did and now what we're going to do is that i'm going to use this as my front card panel um you can use pattern paper if you like but i like making my own backgrounds so um that's what we're going to do here and i'm going to take the first die in the set and i'm just going to place it more or less where i want my butterfly to land and you can always check to see if your butterfly is going to fit by just putting it, tearing it there. And I'm pretty sure it's going to fit there. So I'm going to tape that down and I'm going to run this front panel first. And I just make sure the wings are going to fit and I think right there is good. Let's straighten that out and then I'm going to tape it down. So I'm going to run this first. Okay, I'm going to take care of that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I sometimes have um, some difficulties getting these to line up straight, especially when I want my front panel to um, really line up with the one underneath because it's going to cut 
through both of them. So I'm just, I leave the inside of that on and then I just pop this out. You can also use it as a lever, but if you run this through um, together, your top layer, depending on how your um, cutting mat is, because mine's a pretty banged up, you're gonna get all kinds of lines and stuff on it and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna be exactly where I want this. And I'm going to hold it and I'm going to just pop the top layer off, holding that tight. So my cutout is there and then all I have to do is bring this back and line it up. And then it's done. Pretty good. So I have to buy new cleats. <laughs> and I'm gonna run it. And I'm gonna reverse. <laughs> They should line up pretty well. I could always trim this if it doesn't, but yeah, I think that's pretty good. So we have that. So now I'm gonna move that to the side and for the inside one, I'm just gonna close this just like um, they taught us on Crafter's Companion. I'm gonna tape it there and I'm gonna run it through and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have this. Now we have two ways we can do this. We can go ahead and do our background and then stamp out the top butterfly, um, cut it out and then glue it on top. Or we can stamp out our butterfly, make a mask and then just um, color around it to fill in our um, background. And I think that's going to work for me because of course I always like to be a little bit complicated. <laughs> So I'm going to get my platform ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this with my alcohol proof ink. And then I'm going to stamp a mask. And it's going to be out of just a post-it note. Just to put on top of it um, so I can move the color. But the mask I'm going to stamp in like a VersaFine. And that's because um, I don't want it to move with my... Um, the stress oxide inks. So we have that. I think one more stamp will be good. Okay, that's pretty good. And we can remove that. Well, actually, we didn't need to remove it, but we'll put it back. Okay. So I have my post-it notes and I'm just going to stamp that again with um, VersaFine. Let me go ahead and get that done. You didn't have to stamp it twice, but eh, why not? Okay, so I'm gonna cut that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna start inking our background and I am going to start with the squeezed lemonade. And I'm gonna work my way from the bottom up.
then I'm going to bring in my blue and I'm going to work my way down with the blue. Hold your um, post-it note in place because the only place it has sticky is up on the top. And just be careful when you're going around um, all of that. Take your time and just be careful. I think this color is drying up on me. If you wanted to, you can add a stencil on top, which will also look really good. And we'll see if we do that after I am done here. Now I really don't want to cause a green here so I'm going to be careful how far I go. I'd rather have that white transition than um, green. I know my camera is a little blown out but in the pictures you'll see and I'll try to post the picture in between here. And I think that's good. Now, if you wanted a tone of green, you can always add it, a little bit of blue here to the bottom. And that'll bring you a little bit of the green. Just a slight coloring. So, and that's all we have. And now we can take our little um, post-it note off and it hasn't moved um, into that space at all. It's still nice and crisp and we can add color to it easily. So I'm gonna put my inks away for now and I will be right back. Okay, so when you're not sure what color to is gonna complement every anything, um, you can go ahead and just make a little swatch like And then let's do the burnt orange. Okay, so if we put these against it, we can see what's going to look best. We have the paints and we have the orange. And I'm honestly thinking the pink is going to stand out the best. This is just going to, I don't know, kind of look a little washed out. So let's do the pinks. So we're going to start off with our lightest color. And we're just going to cover that in a little bit.
Then we're going to come in with our darkest color. You could have done this and make a hot pink too, that would have looked nice. And then let's put some color here. go with our mid-tone blending and I always come back with um, another layer of it just because I'm um, always in the second layer everything somehow blends better so let's just get that done and then blend our light tone in Do the same thing over again and I'll be right back. Okay, so our blending is done. Oh, let me put these away. And we still have this. Um, I held on to it because maybe I want to add um, a little bit of shimmer spray, but I don't know. It looks kind of pretty just like that. Hmm. Maybe we'll add it. Why not? Okay, let me get my glitter ink and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna have um, a little bit of the Spectrum Noir glitter Oops, ink and we're just gonna dip our brush into it and I'm just gonna flick it just to add a little bit of shine. really not a lot you really can't see it well on camera but it's there and um, when you look at it in person it just looks like you added just a little more detail to your card it's very pretty very subtle all right let me clean the rest up I'll be right back so because I went so um, a lot on the outside, on the inside I'm not going to do much. I am going to stamp my butterfly here and I'm going to stamp another one inside. And then basically just with, with um, our sentiments. But um, the focal of this card I wanted to be the front panel. And so far that's looking very pretty. So um, let's go ahead and stamp our second butterfly. And that one is going to go... right here so let's go ahead and do that be very mindful when you're putting your um, glitter ink onto your um, card base especially when you've done it with um, like the distress oxides that they move with um, water because if you put too much you're gonna have um, big splotches on your card so um, unless that's what you're going for, 
just be very careful when you're laying down your color so um, you don't ruin your the card you just spent a lot of time coloring <laughs> ask me why I know that <laughs> okay let's stamp that into place And while I'm here, I'm going to stamp uh, the final butterfly also. Um, just because I want to be able to color this and save a little bit of time. So, we're basically going to figure out where exactly we're going to put this. And then we can stamp it out. And I'm just going to get that done. I don't even know if I want a butterfly there. Let me color this butterfly and let's see what we do. All right. Put this to the side. And I think um, we're going to color it with the same colors, only because I want that one to pop as well. I don't want anything to get lost inside, um, but this one should go fairly quick because this one is so much smaller. This image is really not big at all. We added our lightest tone. Now we're going to add our darkest. And we're just going to bring some of that in. Don't mind if you go out of the line a little bit. You could come back with your um, alcohol blender and you can just clean that up and another hack is if um, you have a white gel pen if you're on white card side you can just go ahead and um, use that to fix it a little bit So we have that and now we can go ahead and add our front panel. Look how pretty that's looking. So let me glue that into place. One second. Okay, so let's glue that into place. Just line that up. card just make sure I don't move anything I don't want to move and we have that so far so now it, it comes down to that um, last butterfly and it's just seeing where we want to put it do we want to use it or do we want to put like a heart or something Or maybe even use the flowers in the background. I think I like the flowers. Let's 
Let's try it. We don't know unless we try it, right? Okay. So let me get my platform and we'll add the flowers. Now I got some ink on one of my panels from this board. So let me go ahead and clean it up and I'll be back. Okay, so we're gonna put some tape down. So this doesn't move and then I'm going to figure out exactly what I want my flowers. I think maybe there. Let me find this part down and then we can go ahead and stamp. Now, if you want to save some time, you can always stamp in green ink and that way all you have to do is color in your flowers, but I'm not sure if I even want to color it. So I'm just going to stamp it in black and then I'll go from there and decide. Good to go. So now we have that going on. Very pretty. And we can just go ahead and color in the flowers. And um, I think we'll do those yellow. come back with the green and do the same so I'm gonna get that done and I'll be right back okay so what's left is our sentiment and I think I'm gonna use a, just a little note and I'm just gonna stamp it right on top and maybe right there or we can go higher if we want no I think I want it in the yellow I think there is fine all right, let's get our platform and we're going to stamp that with the Versafine ink. Just take that off. Just make sure my platform is not letting out any ink. <laughs> All right. Okay. If the ink seeps through, we can always um, add little layers of um, card there in yellow and blue and just make everything match and we'll have that there we should tape that down let's see right there make sure you guys can see and just lay that down and let's get the verse fine. Okay. And I'm so surprised that that went down so fast. So this is our finished card. Now, if you don't have um, these specific stamp sets um, with the dies, you can do, have the same type of look by just using um, one of your regular square dies and just cutting um, two different sizes out. 
and then um, you can either die cut or color and die cut um, something to add to each corner and you can get the same kind of effect um, even if you don't have these specific um, stamps and dies but that's my card for today um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you try it it's fun and it's very cute I love the way it looks all right guys I'll talk to you real soon bye